Hello guys, Wizard here bringing you another Total War Warhammer replay with commentary. For today's battle, we have the Falskaven, forces of Falskaven being led by Trot the Unclean on his uh, Brute Horror here. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we're going against Vampire Counts uh, with the leadership of Strigoi Vampire Lord. I don't know if he has any uh, leadership skills or not but uh yeah he pro i don't know <laughs> he's leading something there there are some uh necromancers there so maybe he's leading the army so yeah uh let's just jump into the army composition and see what we brought here today so for my front line i have five five units of skaven slaves uh one of them one of them the regular kind the rest are all uh spearmen uh, spear rats uh, three units of clan rats with shields in the secondary line uh, two units of Ishin triads one of them the regiment of Renan Ishas triad really good units and uh, two units of uh, poison wind mortars one of them the death globe mortars really good at uh, killing black I mean cab models especially good against blood knights I also brought uh, the artillery piece uh, Ikid Zap Zap, uh, really uh, great, really accurate. Um, I usually use it for sniping down uh, characters and vampire counts bring a lot of them. For my uh, leader, uh, for my heroes and lords, I have um, the Warlock, Warlock Engineer caster with uh, Howling Warp Gale and Warp Lightning. And uh, we have Gorich uh, himself here with his uh, War Frenzy and Sword of Anti-Heroes. I didn't bring anything else because he doesn't need anything. How, ma how much? Yeah, bonus in versus infantry of 30, which is uh, awesome. I also brought um, Strahd uh, on his Brood, uh, brood Horror. Um, I, I was thinking of bringing him on foot, but I wanted to something to uh, be able to poison and is fast and can kill um, black coaches. And so yeah, I brought a uh, shot on the uh, brute horror. And um, there is a really uh, problem. Um, in, I, I mean, I had a really big problem with this army. I didn't have any range units and Skaven range units are uh, kind of cheap, but uh, if I have to change anything, I wouldn't bring uh, Trot on his Brute Horror, even though it's really crucial here. But you need something um, to shoot uh, flying units, especially when you have Howling uh, Warp Gale there. So I, I brought everything on Grudge, uh, I mean, uh, not Grudge, the, uh, on Trot. Uh, creature Killer, uh, his Beast Pack, Remoldered, and Master. The rest is a. Uh, passive stuff so let's see what my opponent has brought for his front line five units of zombies uh, for secondary line three units of grave guard the regular kind a unit of blood knights two uh, black coaches here two uh, two uh, fell bats and I think that's it for the army and for lords and character my opponent has brought Wraith King uh, white king with his uh, scabs great really good against Infantry, um, Necromancer with Forbidden Rod, One Has uh, Dance Macabre, Invocation, uh, Curse of Undeath, and Master of the Dead. Let's see what um, Sigur Vampire Lord has brought. Cool King of Usheron, really um, good amount of healing uh, with no winds of magic. So, uh, yeah, uh, Claws of Morcane, Command of the Unliving, Invocation and hunger and uh, curse upon that some sp uh, some uh, stuff i wouldn't have brought but overall uh yeah decent army so let's just start army Le let's just start the battle and see how we do here so uh as i said it could zap zap really high range um i need to go after characters here and the best one is the necromancer if you guys haven't seen this uh, what this 
uh, artillery piece can do I'm gonna leave a link in the description it just uh, destroys character especially on horses and chariots uh, I had a game uh, playing as high elves and yeah these guys uh, were a really big threat there but yeah, uh, now the uh, avalanche mortar shooting at blood knights doing decent uh, amount of damage, but the bats um, are here to interrupt them. And my opponent really wisely summons a unit of creep gold. These guys are not slouches, so they're gonna do decent amount of damage to Ixia's triad and maybe even uh, are able to kill the uh, artillery crew there. And the bats are causing some problem, but. Because the uh, Vampire Camp's army is kind of slow, uh, yeah, maybe he should have waited a bit, I don't know, um, I'm, I'll be able to clean up uh, real fast. So yeah, these units of bats are finished, this one is nearly finished, and uh, Sigoy Vampire Lord comes down to uh, fight them. Interesting that um, Crypt Ghouls are not doing a lot of damage to uh, Ixia Strat there, maybe they're the defense is high probably but yeah uh, I sent uh, Gorach and tried to get rid of the black coaches there but uh, as soon as the sugar vampire lords come down I sent Gor uh, Gor Gorich I'm, s I'm saying that name wrong right Gorich I don't know I think uh, Gorich is what I heard other casters say so yeah um, we're gonna say Gorich uh, uh, for the rest of the battle. I hope I'm saying it right. But now with my mortars free, look at this devastation here. These uh, warp infused bombs going off, doing a lot of damage to these zombies and um, grave guard there. So uh, yeah, I I have so much, so many things to protect. I don't want um, a ghoul king to go after these uh, poison wind mortars. So I cast a uh, warp gale there. I know I don't have any uh, range units to capitalize on this, but yeah, um, they're able to shoot one or more, uh, one or two more volleys here, doing good amount of damage here. So what else? Uh, these um, avalanche mortars um, are uh, kind kind of bugged down again because of these creep ghouls. I I I, I sent Gorich and some uh, skaven um what's the name of this the, not the slaves the other one clan rats to uh, hold them off an interesting thing is that uh i don't know they don't do uh, much of them dam much damage they get uh, dealt easily so yeah um i'm able to uh point blank shot the poor necromancer here with my uh ikid zap zap here they're probably gonna finish him off real fast here Let's see if they shoot or probably got it. No, he um, he died himself. <laughs> that was kind of anticlimactic. So uh, the Iksha Triad uh, illusions and uh, Iksha Triads themselves are chasing Strigoi Gold King. I don't want him to cause more problems. But look at the uh, Avalanche Mortals, how much damage they did to Blood Knights. Poor guys are kind of done. But uh, right now, uh, Gorech going after Wraith King. Uh, not doing so hot. I think Trot is landing hits more consistently, so that's really good. Um, it could zap zap shooting at uh, the black coach there. I think uh, I was able to finish uh, one of them uh, here with um, Gorech and uh, Trot here. Uh, what else remaining for my opponents here? Is this uh, some grave guard here, uh, which is good. These guys are really good, but. Um, yeah, my avalanche mortars with their three models are gonna <laughs> do good amount of damage there. It doesn't matter if I don't have a lot of units here. Gorich with uh, with a lot of buffs there, Rap <laughs> War Frenzy, cu uh, Creature Killer, Sword of the Anti Heroes, and uh, Remolder killing uh, four Blood Knights there. And they're bogged down with uh, a lot of rats here as well. Uh, I think at this point, the Poison with Mortar is doing more damage to myself. There are not enough infantry remaining here. And uh, yeah, let's see how much this um, black coach can survive here. Uh, Trot is much faster than it, and it's poison. The Ikid Zap Zap is shooting at it. Yeah, it's not gonna live for long. 
uh, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it uh, and go after um, Sigur Vampire Lord him, uh, himself here with uh, my what is this thing shooting some uh, poor blood uh, blood nice there so yeah now uh, with a lot of anti-infantry and two characters here who are really good at killing uh, large units um, uh, I'm dealing with Sigur Vampire Lord I don't think he can do much here he he costs a lot so the balance of power uh, is not completely in my favor but yeah uh, with just two hits or three hits that that was uh, that was huge damage he's gonna uh, disintegrate and uh, yeah this battle is done so yeah I wanted to try out uh, Gorich um, I think he he can do really good especially if you have healing for him uh, let's see how our units did um, Trot himself uh, did uh, really well, uh, 2300 damage value, uh, a lot of regen remaining, a lot of HP remaining. Uh, the poor warlock, warlock engineer, he's not good at fighting, uh, yeah, just the spells and I, I usually forget to cast his warp lightning, which is a bit of a shame, it does a lot of damage here. Uh, Gorach, uh, Gorach doing... Gor Gorich, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, Gorich. <laughs> Gorich doing decent amount of damage. He still had a lot of HP. Could have uh, uh, fought much more. The slaves uh, did fine. Paid for themselves, a lot of them. The um, clan rats with shield also did fine. Uh, wow, the Isha Triad, 2200 damage uh, value. Uh, the other one around 1000, uh, 1700, not uh, not that good. My opponent shot them down uh, real good. The uh, Ikid Zap Zap doing decent amount of damage, uh, even though it got um, bogged down uh, for a long time. My opponent, uh, I don't think he was able to do much. The map was uh, in my favor. Um, it had a lot of um, close areas, so I could have just uh, sub uh, funnel a lot of la rats there and stop the advance of the uh, vampire counts. But yeah, this one also did fine. So yeah, that's it for today's battle, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe. It would really help me and my channel grow. I, I upload videos daily, so stay tuned for that as well. I also have a Discord server if you guys want to hang out. Uh, the link is in the description of this video and yeah catch you all later bye